Hello, students. How are you? Now, today there is a different type of uh, problem on the topic of uh, the meta center. So, already in the previous two videos, we have seen uh, two types of uh, problems uh, where we were finding the density uh, of that particular body in uh, air or in water and uh, we were also finding what will be the specific uh, gravity. So, in the previous two videos, if you want you can go, there were, uh, there were two problems which were solved which were very important. Again, I am repeating the only the basic concept is whatever whenever a body is immersed in a fluid that the fluid which is contained in a container which is there in a container is when you are immersing in a fluid some of the fluid will be displaced outside the container so if we were if we are able to calculate what is the weight of the fluid or the volume of the fluid that is displaced that itself will be equal to the weight of the particular body which has been immersed or the volume of the body which has been immersed. So, based on this particular concept, we already have solved the two problems. So, let us see this particular third problem which is very important. Find the density of a metallic body which floats. <coughs> at the interface of mercury of specific gravity 13.6 and water such that 40 percent of its volume is submerged in mercury and 60 percent in water. So, based on the question, let us to uh, try to uh, draw a particular figure. So, actually this is a, this is the metallic body which is floating. So, which is floating in water as well as which is floating in mercury. Okay. So, here approximately let us consider the bottom which presently I am drawing as your mercury. Okay. So this is your mercury. And in this in this particular interface, and this is water. Interface between the mercury and the water. We do have a metallic body which is floating. Yes, and as we all know, and uh, it's already given the question also, the specific gravity of uh, mercury is given as 13.6, and we all know the specific gravity of uh, water is 1. So, based on the specific gravity, we, we, we here we are going to find out what is the density. Okay, and uh, the metallic body it is there in the interface in such a way that 40 percent of its volume that means 40 percent of its volume is submerged in mercury 40 percent of the volume of the what volume of the metallic body clear yes. and 60 percent of the metallic body is submerged in the water so this is the question given to you but here we have to find what is the density of the metallic body. Okay. So, please see the diagram. So, let us solve it to find out the density. So, let us take V meter cube. V is what? 
let us take V as the volume of the body. Why, why what is the necessary to find because density is equal to mass by volume. <coughs> so let us assume that V V as the volume of the body. Okay. And volume of the body submerged in water. So, what is the volume of the body submerged in water as given in the question? It is 60 percentage. So, it is 60 per 60 by 100 into V, which is the volume of the body. So, 60 percent of the volume of the body is in water. Similarly, volume of the body submerged in mercury is 40 percent. This is to given in the question. So, it comes around 40 by 100 into V. So, this is 0 0.4 V and this is 0 0.6 V meter cube and this is meter. Okay. Again, for the equilibrium of the body, we all know for the equilibrium of the body, we all know the buoyancy force. That means buoyancy force is the upward force. Clear? The total buoyancy force, that means when the body is in equilibrium, total buoyancy force means upward force. Upward force is equal to the weight of the body. Okay. So, here there are the two different types of fluids here. One is your mercury and the other is the water. So, how to calculate the total buoyancy force? Total buoyancy force is the force of buoyancy due to water plus force of <coughs> buoyancy due to mercury. Okay. So, again let us calculate first individually. <coughs> the force of buoyancy due to water that is nothing but the weight of water displaced by the body. So, you already know that this is rho g v. So, rho is how much? So, rho is your 1000, g is your 9.81 and the weight of, okay, volume, v is the volume of the water displaced. So, what is the volume of the water displaced here? The volume of the body submerged in water, how much you got? 0 0.6 V. Okay. So, it is 0 0.6 V. Okay. So, this much is the force of buoyancy due to water. Now, similarly, let us calculate the force of buoyancy due to force of buoyancy 
due to mercury again the same thing clear rho g v the rate of the mercury displaced rate of mercury displaced by the body what is the density of mercury see specific gravity is given as 13.6 we know specific gravity is 13.6 13.6 into 1000 will be the, the density so rho of hg into g into v v of how what hg this is rho of water and this is also volume of water what is rho of hg 136 13.6 into 1000 if you want i can write because you know specific gravity into the uh, into the density of the standard fluid will give the density of that particular fluid into 9.81 into 0 0.48 Okay. Yes. So this is the force of buoyancy due to water. This is the force of buoyancy due to mercury. Now, what is the total buoyancy force? Okay. Total. buoyancy force because already we have written you can see here total buoyancy force force of buoyancy due to water plus force of buoyancy due to mercury so that is what i'm going to write here clear <coughs> so 1000 into 9.81 into 0 0.63 plus 13.6 into 1000 into 9.81 into 0 0.4 e, which is equal to the weight of the body okay so again what is the weight of the body weight is weight of the body is rho g v that is rho of the body into 9.81 into the volume of the body which you have taken it as v. <coughs> so when we solve this we get as okay so it is 1000 into g so what we do is 9.81 uh, 9.81 9.81 9 both the sides it gets cancelled the same thing happens with the volume also okay on the both sides so 1000 into 0 0.6 so the row of the body this is equal to so 600 plus this is 13600 okay 13600 into 0 0.4 okay 13600 into 0 0.4 5440 plus 600. So it is coming around 6040 kg per meter cube. <coughs> so this is your the density of the body. Yes, so this is how we solve the problem. Okay, thank you very much, students. Yes.